everyone! Are you ready for a new lesson? My name is Natalia and I am really glad to see you again. Today we are going to talk about souvenirs. Find out about the most popular souvenirs in London and also learn how to buy souvenirs in English. I really enjoy traveling, but I also love shopping for souvenirs. So I always buy something interesting for myself and for my family and friends. This is my favorite magnet from Belgium. I have about 50 magnets at home. This keychain I bought for my father in Poland. Such souvenirs are also useful. He keeps his car keys attached on it. And this is my favorite cup from France. Every time I drink tea or just see it, I have memories about my trip to Paris. And these are probably the most popular souvenirs – postcards. I buy one in every single city I visit. And I also ask all my friends to send me postcards from their trips. This one is my favorite. It's from London. And by the way, I've never been to London, but I dream of it. Oh, there are so many super cool souvenirs there. What are the most popular? Can you guess? Let's find out together, but I'll need your help. Pause the video and match the words with the pictures. Write down your answers. And now let's check the answers. 1. A keychain is in the picture D. 2. A postcard is in the picture G. 3. A magnet is in the picture F. 4. A union jack is in the picture H. 5. A statuette is in the picture A. 6. Souvenirs with the royal family are in the picture C. 7. Local goodies you can see in the picture B. 8. A gift set is in the picture E. Great job! I'm impressed! Which souvenir do you like the most? I am fond of magnets, you know, but I also like gift sets. And what do you think my friend chose for her family when she was in London last year? Let's listen to the dialogue and find out. Be attentive and listen carefully. Hello, welcome to London Souvenirs. How can I help you? Hello, I am looking for some nice souvenirs for my parents. But I don't want any magnets, postcards or keychains. Ok, do they like drinking tea? Yes, they do. Great, because we have really good gift sets. There is a pack of traditional black tea and a cup with London views or with a picture of the royal family in each set. Mmm, interesting. How much does it cost? It is 15 pounds, but today we have a special discount, so it costs only 10. Wow! I'll take two sets, please. One with London Views and another with the Royal Family. Great choice! Would you like to pay in cash or by cart? Cash, please. Ok, so that's 20 pounds altogether. And you also get this Union Jack flag for free. Wow, thank you! Here is your change and receipt and here are your gift sets. Thank you! Have a nice day! You too! Goodbye! Now pause the video. Read the following statements and decide if they are true or false. Write down your answers. Are you ready? Let's check. 1. The customer wants to buy a souvenir for a friend. False. 2. The shop assistant offers a magnet. False. 3. There's a discount on gift sets. 
True. 4. A gift set costs 20 pounds. False. 5. The customer wants to pay by credit card. False. Great job! In the dialogue, you could hear a lot of useful phrases you can use if you want to buy something. Match the beginnings with the endings to have complete phrases. Pause the video to do the task, then check with me. Ready? 1. How can I help you? 2. I'm looking for nice souvenirs for my parents. 3. How much does it cost? 4. Would you like to pay in cash or by card? 5. Here's your Change and receipt. 6. That's 20 pounds altogether. Well done! I'm so proud of you! By the way, do you buy souvenirs when you travel to different cities or countries? What souvenirs do you have at home? What would you like to buy in London? Think about it and voice your thoughts out loud in English. It's time to finish. Have a good day. Bye!